Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again another reaction for you guys. It is here guys, the Knuckles series official trailer is here and I can't wait to dive into this. I'm excited for this and this is definitely interesting because I wasn't expecting after Sonic 1 and 2, which were great films by the way, and I can't wait for Sonic 3, I think it's coming out at the end of this year. I think this is coming out before some time, I think in the middle of this year, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm assuming it is because we have a trailer now and it's here. Um, but I was like, Knuckles series? But I guess it makes sense, because let's be honest, Sonic 2 was great in terms of, like, a, a good continuation, at least in my opinion, from Sonic 1, and Knuckles was honestly, like, one of the best things to come from Sonic 2, so I guess it makes sense to do a show, and so I'm excited to see they do this, guys, so that's what they do, let's get into it now, and the fact is, of course, Idris Elba, Idris is fantastic as Knuckles, I love that he is voicing Knuckles, it's, it's, it's weird, but at the same time, it works, so let's dive into now, guys, let's check it out, the official trailer for Knuckles. You're an alien, you're super powerful, you recently saved the world with your friend. Mm. What do you like to do for fun? Vengeance. Vengeance. I was thinking more like reading or, or, or yoga. Hmm. I think I recognize him. I don't know for sure, though. Hey, buddy. Isn't it great to... Okay, so we are saying Sonic. Okay. I am an Echidna warrior. I only Dude. remain on Earth because I made a vow to you and the boss. So I mean, it makes I sense that they're in it. Okay. Okay. Nope, we are not turning our living room into some kind of gladiator fighting pit. What is Ozzy doing here? He will be challenging his greatest enemy. Who? Is that our mailman? <laughs> That's good. That's good. Battle, so I will begin my quest. Hmm. Come, Weed. Most people think I'm a joke. I do not make jokes. I make warriors. Six, okay, six episodes. Okay. Without his little friends, he's vulnerable. He's the key to all my newest creation. Interesting. For Robotnik. Bring me knuckles. Okay. Sorry, this lane is reserved. You think you can take my power? They think so. Ooh. Do I look like I mean your power? What are you talking about? Sonic 2. That was Sonic 2 reference, of course. What the fuck? I made a promise to protect this planet. A lot going on here. Yeah. I am. Knuckles. Oh, snap! Sophie's <laughs> about to get slapped. That looks fun. Hey, rings. April 26th, okay. April 26th. Today is going to be a beautiful day. Hmm? Oh, jeez. Okay. You going to rescue him? No. He must no. Alone can rescue himself. Okay. All right. Um. So, April 26th. We don't have to wait too long. It's two months or so. Okay. So, six episodes... And it seems now, based on how the trailer is actually going along, we're going to see, of course, at least some of the characters from the Sonic films, of course, Sonic himself and Tails. But then we're going to move on to Knuckles' story, I guess, probably after that first episode and everything. And maybe we'll end the show with him back setting up Sonic 3, I'm guessing. So this is literally, it's a Knuckles show, and we're following Knuckles, but essentially it's kind of like to bridge the gap between Sonic 2 and 3, I guess is what they're kind of doing. But they're also giving Knuckles more story and everything, and, and probably more history, because we got to see some backstory and everything from Knuckles from Sonic 2, but it really wasn't, like, a lot of the film, or like, we because he was there, but we're also following Dr. Robotnik and everything, and we're getting, of course, in 3 again, Jim Carrey's back again for Sonic 3, but... I think there was like, okay, maybe they had planned a Knuckles show, so that's why they didn't spend too much time, except for the, the most important bits and details for Sonic 2, for people to kind of understand where his character's coming from and his motivation and what he's doing in the movie in Sonic 2, and then we were going to explore more of it in, in Knuckles. Don't know who the guy is that he's teaming up with, in a sense, on this adventure, but um, interesting. They got interesting, like, I forget his name, he wasn't the mountain... But he was the brother, like, he was from Game of Thrones. Like, at first I'm like, 
I was thinking he was somebody else. I'm like, that's that guy from Game of Thrones. He was like running around with um, Arya Stark for quite a bit at, at a point within the, the show. So it's like interesting. He's the villain. I, I didn't hear anything about him being cast. So it's interesting that he's in this. And they have uh, that reference to Sonic Two as well about the powers thing. And they have and these two people have powers like similar to Knuckles. A interesting how they're gonna make that work. That. Just based on the trailer, I don't know if I'm too interested in those two characters, like the main villain guy from Game of Thrones in here. I mean, he wasn't a villain in Game of Thrones. Speaking of my point, like he's the villain in this. I'm really interested to see him. I don't know about the two other characters or whatever, but um, but we'll see what happens. You know, we get six episodes, at least they're letting us know now ahead of time that it's six episodes instead of dropping and, oh, like last minute, oh, by the way, it's only six episodes. Like they're letting us know ahead of time. It's a limited event, six episodes. And so I'm expecting hopefully something good to come out of this. Because let's be honest, Paramount Plus has had some decent stuff in terms of their original content. And honestly, people were worried, and I get it. People were actually worried that maybe the Knuckles show is maybe not the right choice for a TV show. But it looks like they put the effort into it. Plus, I think was it, no, it was, Pe it was Peacock that did the TED series. But Paramount Plus is showing that they're putting the effort and the money and time into making this. Because it actually looked pretty solid. It looks like it's another movie but it's a it's a tv show in terms of the actual look of knuckles and the rest of the characters that are not actually physically there so if this ends up working out and actually being a big success i wouldn't be surprised if we get another tv show after sonic 3 maybe for tales maybe just a, a sonic show that's set within the same universe that's going to bridge the gap to sonic 4 if they do a sonic 4 which i feel like they probably will but you never know but uh, if this works out this might expand paramount plus's roster in terms of content because they might start working on more sonic spinoff stuff potentially tv series like this so we'll see what happens with that but i hope you guys enjoyed the reaction i'm curious what you guys thought about the trailer let me know your thoughts in the comments below about the trailer guys you can sign up for knuckles sign up for sonic 3 let me know in the comments below talk to you soon peace out